So I'm going to tutorial sheet two um, solutions. So on the last question, question six, then we'll go to um, T3. So the helicopter view in figure P1.70 shows two people pulling on a stubborn mule. Find A, the single force that is equivalent to the two forces shown, and B, the force a third person would put or, um, to exit on the mule to make the net force equal to zero. The forces are measured in units of newtons. So now A is just telling us to find the resultant force. So then we know how to find the resultant. Um, we have got our we have got our F2 that side F2. Um, we have got our axis there. Then we have got our x axis there. This is Kisti. This is F1. F1 is equal to 1, 20 newtons. F2 is equal to 80 newtons. 75 degrees. Um, so now we we can use the one for summing up the forces, but then since this is a vector equation, we're going to use the vector approach. And then later on, I'm going to show you how you can use the summation of forces, which is actually the same thing. Anyway, so we have got x and y. So then here we're going to say the forces. So I've got f1. f1 in the x is going to be given by f1 in the x is going to be given by 120. Since the angle is there, looking for the adjacent, I'm going to say cos 60. So f1 in the x is equal to 120 cos 60. It's going to give us what? It's going to give us what? 120 um, cos 60. Mm, excuse me. So that's um, 60. Then it's in the positive x direction. Then y, we're going to have um, 120 sine 60. This one's going to give us 103.9. And then we go to F2. F2 is going to give us um, F2 in the x is negative, it's going in this direction. So um, F2 in the x, F2 in the x is 80 cosine 75, which is going to give us negative 20.7. Then F2 in the in the y direction is positive. It's going to be 80 sine 75. That's going to be 77.3. Um, you can say 77.3. You can round it off. It's no big deal. So now I'm going to add these forces. So this one plus this one. 60 plus negative 27.5. Plus negative 20.7. And that's 89.3. Um, and then this one here that's 103.9 plus 77.3 it's going to give us 181.2 so now we're going to have the resultant to be somewhere there where we're saying this one is 181.2 then here we have got 39.3 so now we're going to try to find the angle because the question has told us to find the force. So the force being a vector, we have to find the angle and the magnitude. So we found the the components of the force. So now let's find the magnitude. So F magnitude is going to give us square root of 39.3 squared plus in the Y we have got 181.2 squared. This one that's 182 to the power 2 plus 39 to the power 3 squared. The square root of the answer is going to be 185. 185 kilo. 185 newton, sorry. Um then the angle the angle will be given by the tan. Um, the angle theta will be given by tan inverse. Of the force in the x over the force in the y over the force in the x. So tan theta is going to be given by theta is going to be given by tan inverse of 
um, 181.2 over 89.2 so theta is going to be equal to 181.2 divided by 59.3 then turn inverse of the answer is going to give us 77.8 degrees so that's the force is the force the force vector is 185 newtons 77.8 degrees so now um, in the b part of the question b part of the question is actually conceptual so it's we are being told to say find the third a force the force a third person would have to exert on the mu to make the net force equal to zero mm, so we have got these forces here so if you want um the force to be equal to zero there's a force one force that we must apply here so these forces um they are giving us a resultant this one here that's 181.2 Mm -hmm. And then it's 77.8 degrees. So now um, the force has to oppose this one, has to be equal and opposite. So it has to let me use a red marker for this one. So the force has to come here like that, and it has to be equal to this one, um, in both in magnitude, um, not really direction, but of some sort of direction. So this force has to be in a straight line. So it's like um, when you're pulling, it's when I'm pulling this. Um, let's say the straight axis is this one when i'm pulling um this marker in this direction um for someone for us to have a zero net force whereby we are all we're all like pulling on each other and nothing's actually moving if i'm pulling this side with 30 newtons the other one must come and push with 30 newtons in a straight line if it's pushing with 30 newtons somewhere there we are going to have a net force um but if the net we want the net force to be zero in a straight line he must pull down if it's this side the same thing so the angle here so since this is a straight line, the angle here will come from there. Let me use the red, the red marker again. Um, so we're looking for this um, angle. So now this angle is, we know this straight one is 180, then this one is 78. So we can say um, 180, our angle now, that's for B. B, our theta is equal to 180 plus 77.8. Theta, this one will just give us um 257.8 degrees so you can say the person must pull with 70 181.2 newtons at an angle 257.8 and when he does this 257.8 um degrees when he does this here when he does this he's going to find that um there will be zero net force you can actually try this one you can put your force there um, if that one will be 70, you can put your force there and put in fact, this will be your homework. Try this, you put your seven. This one, this this angle will be 77.8 degrees, and then the magnitude of this one will be um 181.2. You can try with this angle or with the angle that I've given you, it's all the same thing because if this is 70. If this is 70 um 77.8 this must be the same angle you know um oh this must be the same angle so in fact this angle should be the one that should be 70 77.8 or you can subtract it and they find the, and find the angle that will be acting down there um, then that's all for this question you found here this one will be whatever magnitude you found there you just change the direction by adding 180 so that's all for me um it's bye bye for now if you have any other questions in a past paper be it a tutorial sheet an exercise a lecture slide you can just send it to my email or my number on whatsapp 097 8957975